Humphrey, Audic needs a dynamic repair Manchester University's professor of accounting, Christopher Humphrey talks to accountancy age about the future of audit. In this interview, Professor Humphrey, a member of Sir Donald Bryden's advisory board, offers his own reading of the Bryden report, explaining the significance of Bryden's conceptual reframing of audit and the potential the report offers for meaningful reform. How should we understand the Bryden report? I hope that people would regard Bryden as an integrating report that compensates for the fact that, ideally, it should have been done before reports on audit regulation, Kingman, and the audit market, CMA. It allows you to take a more conceptual stance with respect to the role and purpose of audit and, from there, to contemplate the implications for the demand and supply of auditing services and their regulation. It is essential for people reading Bryden not to interpret it from the perspective of the standard, fairly restricted view of audit as just being the audit of financial statements, but to utilize and to learn to appreciate the value of Bryden's definition of the purpose of audit being to help to build and maintain deserved confidence in the company, its directors and the information on which it reports publicly. If you look at that definition, you are in a position where you've gone from the audit of financial statements to viewing audit as something much broader. I regard this definition as offering the potential for a more holistic view of audit, opening up different avenues as to the way in which audit can develop in the future. Critical here is the emphasis on deserved confidence. Confidence is not something that just hinges on the financial statements and the audit opinion on those statements. It is something that also has to be earned by the company and its directors. What is wrong with the traditional concept of audit? For years we've tended to stick with a very similar concept of audit, and when things go wrong and people ask where were the auditors, we tend to focus primarily on different ways of regulating or adjusting or invigorating the market for the same, standard audit function. We introduce new regulations, we rotate auditors, we restrict non-audit services, we talk of audit expectation gaps and how the audit is misunderstood but we seldom look to fix things by fundamentally changing the concept of audit. The static nature of audit is reinforced by standard-setting processes that routinely emphasize or rely on the notion that an audit is an audit. Consistency of practice is certainly important, but it is not easy to innov for more on this story. Visit the news article link.